In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this quadcopter. Now, this is an update video because the build video of this got in over 300,000 views. And the reason why I'm doing this update video is to tell you about the status, if anything I would change or what I change and everything that you might find useful. Now, just before getting started, this is my main real steady cinematography quadcopter and there's a couple reasons for that and we'll get into them in this video and again everything is linked down below and also the timestamp so you can skip to whatever part of the video you would like to see here so let's go ahead and discuss the components on board i'm using racer star 2207 2500 kv motors here i'm going to discuss the performance between these and also something like the emax ecos or the shing e's which are also budget not as cheap as this however within the same price range so we can actually compare them for the frame i'm using the gib rc mark 4 this is an absolute beast of a frame and what's really nice about this frame i've noticed is that stock beta flight pids will just get you going you don't even need to start playing with the pids now for the stack we're using the f405 dji mumbo which i have linked down below i forgot which one because they released so many with the ese i got these as a stack it was i think pretty cheap at the time that's why this was a budget build i'll have it linked down below so you can see which one i'm using here it's still strong i haven't done anything to it i haven't burnt anything and it's still same exact one here for the video transmitter this is not being sold anymore at the time of making that video uh you know I, I i mentioned that these are going for 10 bucks or something because they wanted to get rid of the stock because nobody was buying them and i guess a bunch of people bought them and they just don't have stock anymore but there are plenty of budget video transmitters that are good and i'll have some link down below as well for you uh, they'll perform as good if not better for the antennas i'm using the rush fpv antennas which i really find to be really really great antennas and i haven't had the need to change them out and i wouldn't change them out for anything currently so again i'll have these linked down below these come in in a pack of two and it's really nice with this frame because the way they mount they come with all this mounting stuff so you don't have to worry about it and do anything stupid to get it to mount properly uh, so that's a really nice uh, addition here to have just that ease of use here for the camera we're using this budget eoshin camera that came out i don't know six months ago maybe and i haven't you know i've received every single one of the latest cameras and i I really don't want to change this one it's not that it's better than anything it's just good and the whole quadcopter is just really great I, I it's not hindering my performance whatsoever so i don't see a reason why to change it and overall it's a really budget build so if i end up breaking this i'll just quickly replace the camera that's the whole idea of this build here let's come down to the motors here now the racer star motors how do they compare against emax ecos or the shing e's well first of all the build construction is going to be slightly less which means they're not as durable however saying that they are cheaper they're about eight bucks a pop so for eighty dollars you could get ten and emax ecos i think they're around twelve dollars or something like that so uh or fifteen i don't remember i'll have them linked down below as well but my two main quads basically my most reliable quads are running emax ecos 2400 kv and these racer star motors these are my two main i have plenty of quads but these are the ones i always get carry with me because they've been so reliable and this is my favorite over the emax eco build and, and why is that well because the motors to be honest one thing the motors are cheaper i'm not afraid to break this and the motors are slightly less powerful than the Emax Eco. And you will notice that at the top end when you're trying to hit that top speed. And you could also kind of feel it in the torque range when you want to do that punch out to come out of somewhere and just, you know, go to the moon and come back down. I'm not saying this won't do that. This actually does that and more. But what's really nice about these motors, since they're a bit less powerful, they allow you to fly smoother through the air especially when you're running because this is my main real steady go quadcopter they allow you to just fly smoother and just not have fear to break them and that's one of the main advantages because when you're just brave and you have that confidence to go do it you go do anything you know oh it's eight dollars a motor it's not even that bad i mean you know it's that's a really good thing that's that's cheaper than anything else on this quad even the antennas are more expensive than the motors usually the motors would be the most expensive things but recently other things have been becoming more expensive so in my opinion, they're really great, especially if you're starting out. Even if you're not starting out and you just wanted to bash a quad, like me, even though I have every single motor, I have just about everything. I, I just don't grab anything but this. I just built a lot of trust in this thing. And um, I definitely recommend it for anyone looking for another build. You don't have to go super expensive if you don't have the cash. You're going to get the same exact experience. 
with building one of these. Now, if you're racing, that's a different story. Uh, that's a completely different story. So uh, we're just talking about your casual flyer, trying to get some nice photography footage or some freestyle done. You'll be able to do freestyle with this absolutely fine. You can do anything you can do with any other quadcopter with this, which is really great. I mean, for, for this, this, this price, I think it was 160 bucks here. So overall, I definitely recommend it for anyone. And if anybody has built the same exact one, let us know down in the comment section your experience. And um, yeah, and well, that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you are interested in Real Steady Go, I'll have the links to Real Steady Go down below and also a coupon code so you can get it cheaper. And uh, I do have a bunch of tutorials on that, which I'll have again linked down below as well. And everything here, including the build video, the flight footage of this as well, will be linked down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.